Uh, now, my question to uh, Ketan is, uh, uh, as, a, as far as the banking correspondent goes, you know, uh, they are allowed to become, are they allowed to become partners with multiple bank? Uh, and if they are, what is your perspective on that? Again, uh, Vikas, first, thanks for uh, making me part of this uh, event. Uh, it's a wonderful, uh, you're a wonderful host. And coming back to our original piece, uh, banking correspondent uh, ideally is not allowed to participate with multiple banks. Uh, but uh, there are three legs to it. One is, if, if we break it down, uh, the BC model, uh, there are three sort of BCs uh, operating in the country. So one is PSU led, which gives the entire liability side of the products right from account opening to transactions. The second leg is uh, there are certain uh, BC, uh, I mean CSP points, which are doing cash in cash out, which is only ATM withdrawal and deposition services. And the third set of BCs are, which are doing lending activities. So, uh, I mean, a, a point, can if he is signed up with one uh, bank, he can operate only in one. As per the regulation, he can operate with only one bank. Uh, but if you see if, uh, what Ashu was saying, that if you want to bring complete financial inclusion, there needs to be a uh, BC point which gives a complete solution. Uh, it cannot be partial. Most of the banks are not offering complete solution or PSU banks are offering solutions, but on the lending side, we are still far behind. So if, uh, let's take an example, if a small village in a rural location, there is a point offering all the services right from account opening to a transaction on the liability side of the bank, but he's unable to become partner of a bank, which is also offering a lending product. RBI guideline says that you can become a BC point of only one point, uh, one bank. So in a rural location, there are only thousand people staying. There is only one BC point. And if we stuck with one bank, we are not going to bring financial inclusion to the country. So I think we need to come together, uh, the banks, the regulators and the BC operators uh, as an ecosystem and uh, understand the problem at the last mile that how should we enable a, or bring a complete financial inclusion at a point. Uh, or else, as Ashu said, uh, I, if you ask me on the first uh, point, we have come, I mean, in last 10 years, we have really, uh, we have, uh, I mean, the financial inclusion was very fast in terms of account opening and activating bank accounts. And that was the first leg of the financial inclusion. It took almost 50 years to get 50% of India banked. In last 10 years, we got other 48-49% of India banked. So which is a spectacular, I mean, it's. Uh, I don't think any country has done this. So we are on it and I'm sure regulations and everything will come, which will enable entire ecosystem right from lending to transaction banking and etc. on a single platform. So to answer the question in one line, there should be only one PC at a one point, but banks should enable all the products on that platform or else there will be partial inclusion. 